Number 43. In the triangle shown above, which I can't see, I'm going to make it smaller. In the triangle shown above, the sine of A equals what? Well, here what we have is a triangle. We don't know that it's a right triangle, so we can't use Sogatella in right triangle trigonometry. But we do have a, a potentially non-right triangle. We have an angle here, a side here, and a side here. And if we have side, side, angle, we can use what is called the law of sines, which is what their intention was here. The sine of any angle over its respective opposite side will equal the sine of any other angle over its respective opposite side. And this is directly coming from the triangle where we show each of our angles, A, B, and C, as uppercase letters and their opposite corresponding sides as lowercase letters. So here we can say the sine of 30 over 3 has to equal the sine of alpha over 4. The sine of alpha over 4. Now we're in degrees here, so we want to make sure that we, if we don't already know the sine of 30, which if you're doing a lot of trig, you probably know that it's one half. But otherwise, we want to make sure that our calculators are in degrees. And we hit sine 30, and we have one half over 3 equals the sine of alpha over 4. The question asks, well, what is the sine of alpha? So I'll multiply both sides by 4. And on the left, I'll have 4 over 1. So 4 times 1 half is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. And now I have the sine of alpha is equal to 2 thirds.